Hi. Hi, Mike. Mike. Yes. How are you? Um, it's in my car. Sorry. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I understand you have no heat on this 77 degree day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Worst things are known to happen. Exactly. So, Tell no, me what's I, going on. I have no hot water. So oh, you have no hot water. Okay. It's the hot water. It's okay. a combo. But I, Let's I, see what you have. I have that Alpine. Um, ah, burn them. Okay. Burn them. So are you familiar with that? Yep, yeah, Mary. Okay, great. Uh, so I have no hot water. I... Okay. I had it looked at. My mother was that oh, with a plumber. Okay. And he had changed um, the motor blower. The blower motor? Yeah. And okay. then like, like a couple days later, I kept hearing this big, huge, loud vibration from upstairs. And what okay. the heck it is? So... They came back, and there was, um, I guess, another code on there. Okay. And which part? I have a picture. Just give me a second. Right? Um, which said ignition failure, possible cause, gas pressure thing. And they changed that. And they the expansion side, the blue thing. Yeah. Okay. They changed a couple of pieces in there, which and they tried to blow it out. And then he's like, I don't know what, how to do it. Like, I was like. Okay, yeah. okay listen, need to, to feet. That's fine. I need to find somebody that knows better what they're doing. And that's what okay. I, I found How old you. is the boiler? Um, I moved in here and had everything redone probably like eight years ago, maybe. Okay. Has it been serviced every year, taken apart and cleaned and what have you? I or? don't know. Okay. I don't know. That I don't know. Okay. But who would normally be scheduling that? The guy who put it in or... If you tell me no, it's probably... I, it, I, you know what? I taking have... it apart is usually a two, two and a half hour ordeal and it's done once a year. Okay, I don't know. Okay, no problem. But I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just... Air pressure switch. And he shut off the, the, the ignition there and everything else and threw it out and he's, I don't know. Okay. Has, in the eight years that it's been here, has, other than the part you just had changed, was anything else changed on this? No. No. Okay. No. I had re the whole house, so I know everything was, you know, brand new, up, like up then, you know. Okay. Well, let's see if it's what it normally is, and we'll go from there. Okay. Can you move this weather? Yeah, I love it. It's a good thing I didn't close my pool yet, so I'm happy. Yeah. All right. So, did they leave any wire here for me? No. Let's see. Is there any wire in here that we can use? There's always a piece of wire in here. No? Not today. Wow. Yeah. So, I bypassed what normally goes on these, and it's the high temperature sensor. And we're going to see. the system up and running I need to make an adjustment here because uh, we need to be around 5.5 of O2 at high fire and at low fire and we're at around 10 
I took a gas pressure reading on my outlet side of the gas valve by loosening up the set screw inside there, hooked up my digital manometer, and I get around. high fire that needs to be 5.5 yeah we're gonna really need to do a, a major rebuild here because if you take a look at our float look at that guys it's separated the central thermal was never really secured in there and it's just been venting cross contaminated into itself significant amount of repairs here we gotta redo the venting we have to pull the burner clean that out wow scary scary what just people do here the low voltage wiring to the gas valve was cut so i there wasn't even wire nuts there i just put some legos there and we adjusted that Yeah, she's gonna need a major overhaul. I uh, jumped out the high limit switch, high limit sensor, the second one in the middle, because it's the original one, and that's usually the case there. Let's put it on low fire. And uh, see what we're at with the O2. Crazy. And let me tell you something, you're not experienced and trained to work on these things don't work on them you're doing everyone a dis disservice because you can really mess things up a lot worse than they are probably need a new swirl plate full cleaning of the burner i've got to address the cross contamination in the back <laughs> look it's crazy look at that it's one touch away from crumbling apart. Clean out the condensate trap. Neutralizer. Oh, man. Some people just don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little Burnham Alpine boiler. Something a little different than the steam boils I encounter multiple times every single day now that the heating season here has started in the great state of New York. Uh, a lot went on off camera. A lot of, I guess, repetitiveness in talking. Listen, I'm dealing with the woman of the house, the housewife, no disrespect, but she's gonna have to relate all this to her husband. And I had to make sure that my invoice, the receipt for today's service was quite detailed. And I utilized House Call Pro to document everything. Pretty awesome software. And it started when I told the customer that I was on my way electronically to her by clicking on my way in House Call Pro. I could track how much time it took me to get here for my last service call. And as soon as I arrived, I started my time. And before I repeated myself for the fifth time, I was an hour and 15 minutes into it. <laughs> um, Burnham Alpine, listen, it's a great, great, great boiler. It's Burnham's flagship condensing modulating boiler. It's awesome, it's awesome. And if you can afford it, put it in because even if you beat it up, you kick it in the nuts, it's still gonna work and deliver over and over and over again. Sometimes you need a little TLC by adjusting that gas valve and giving a little more gas pressure to ignite. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe. And please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it.